Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a subscription box unboxing and it's going to be a cult box. So if you like the sound of that, do keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will get into the video now. So just before we start, if I look a bit red <laughs> here, I did get a little bit like sunburn as you can see um i did i wasn't actually planning on filming today it's actually my sister's birthday and i just got back from the new forest on a picnic so should have worn sun cream <laughs> um but it was kind of overcast the whole day so yes that's why if like this part is a bit red and also my hair might look a little bit odd because i just cut my fringe yesterday and honestly it's a bit shorter than i would have liked but i got fed up of it like falling down onto my eyebrows so that is why it's like that but anyway you probably don't care about any of that <laughs> so I did get this through the post this morning and that's why like I wasn't planning on filming but I thought as I'm already in makeup and a nice outfit I'm actually wearing that Killstar dress um that I did my last Killstar haul in which I will look in the eye for you but this turned up and I'm really really excited for this theme it's the only subscription box I had left to arrive actually and it's the occult box from May I believe and this was in collaboration with Hex Bomb so there should be a Hex Bomb item in this box which I'm really excited about so I took it out like the black posting bag and then inside there was this leaflet which just says a cult box and it's got all their details their facebook their instagram their website and it's kind of got like a ouija board print on the other side and then there was also this mystery bag which i completely forgot about so they said if you pre-order the box or like order anything from the website on a specific day you do get a free lucky dip bag and then that's it was also in here and then there was actually the box itself which is just kind of a basic brown box there was some kind of flowers like rose petal things in the postage bag but i'm not sure if that's from the box or whether it's from here because i feel like there's some stuck under the label this box costs 23 pounds per month shipping is also three pounds i did pre-order this but you can stay subscribed a cult box usually switch between gothic and witchy kind of themes so they have this one the theme of this is haunted house which is why i pre-ordered this one I've only done one other occult unboxing which was Ghoul's Night In. Was that the theme? It was some kind of like pamper night in kind of box. I did do an unboxing so I'll also link that one in the eye for you too. I've only had that box and then this is my second box but you can pre-order a theme if it appeals to you or you can stay subscribed. I believe it's the same price but I did pre-order this one and it is a UK based box but they do ship worldwide but that will be like different prices as i said this is the box i haven't seen anything as it just arrived today so this is my first time opening it so yeah we will just i say get on with the unboxing but it's already like three minutes well nearly four minutes in <laughs> so this is what the box looks like when you open it there's like some paper bats it actually smells really good i'm really excited especially for the hex bomb item i know it's not going to be a bath bomb because they said you don't have to have a bath for the box so i'm assuming it's not a bath bomb i kind of hope it's a shower gel um because i absolutely love their shower gels okay so <laughs> this is the i don't know really what this is like a business card but it says welcome foolish mortal a cult box and then it's got a creepy looking old house it's kind of funny because i've just put out my theme for my shop simply gothic and i'm doing like a foolish mortals theme um in this kind of font but this is the business card that was on top this artwork's really pretty so maybe there'll be something kind of linked to that and then on top oh okay so the rose petals are from the box there's kind of all these paper bats and then also like rose petals that look like that so that's kind of on top this is what it looks like so far like this and i think there's like a mug in there and then there's some stuff underneath it straight away it doesn't look as full as the previous box but i'm thinking because of this like i think it is a mug <laughs> my parents will be thrilled <laughs> So I'm going to go for this first because it's kind of on top of everything and as I said it's wrapped in this shredded paper. You can see it's a black mug. Oh this is actually quite cool. Oh I love it. <laughs> if you don't know like 
what I'm talking about is that I have basically a, a mug problem and they're overflowing, they're in all the cupboards. Um, I do have also a mug collection video if you're into that that I will also link in the eye. But there is this really, really cute mug. I thought at first it was going to be one of those like generic kind of wholesale mugs but this is definitely like a mug that's been designed by them so it says home sweet haunted home on the front in this kind of different writing with all these dots and then it's got a really cool handle that i haven't really seen before and then on the other side it's got kind of a house silhouette with a moon and more of the dots so that's very very cute so yeah, that's a really cool first item. It's just black inside. It doesn't say whether it's dishwasher safe, so maybe there'll be something later that says that. Um, but yeah, so this is the first item. So far, so good. Everything else is kind of underneath, but the roses are literally everywhere. <laughs> Next up, there is this in a black and white stripy bag, and then everything under is like flat. There is this black and white stripy bag that says a cult box. I am wondering like, if this is the hex bomb item because the hex bomb item wouldn't be flat so i'm assuming it would have to be in here um so there is this so this is really sweet okay so first up in the bag as i said it's like literally full of stuff so this says grow your own pumpkin patch so it says pumpkin seeds plant in late may early june we are in early june now um and you can basically grow your own pumpkins which is very very cool they are in this kind of natural paper looking bag so that's very cute this says handmade ghost in a bottle and it's kind of in like a white organza bag so in here is like a little glass bottle with some kind of rose flowers and dan i think it's dandelion heads by the look of it and then kind of attached to this cork i don't know if you can remove it yeah there's like a little <laughs> a little hanging ghost which is very cute now i have to put him back in can i have just left it in the bottle okay i got it so he just kind of hangs in that bottle that's a very very cute idea oh so this looks like a little ghost necklace i think it looks like a wooden one so again in a black organza bag this time yeah this definitely looks like a necklace i think this looks like it was printed onto the wood how cute is that <laughs> just a very little simple sheet ghost and then it's on this chain by the looks of it it looks stainless steel um because it is kind of gray in color but that is very very cute definitely something that would appeal to me i think there's a soap next yes so what is this i don't know what the shape is it kind of looks like this am i missing that completely I don't know um this says hex bomb spectre so i'm guessing that's the scent it does say the ingredients it doesn't really give the what am i trying to say the scent of it like what the scent is and i really don't know oh i got it i got it <laughs> so it is a ghost i did think it would be a ghost but i really couldn't see it um i was missing the eyes so it actually goes this way and then if you can see the eyes and then like a mouth so he is a little flying ghost. Um, I will just try and see what this one smells like. I will just look this up because I'm generally not the best when it comes to scents. <laughs> I found a bath bomb version on their website and it says, our spectre bath bomb is mist white, obviously, soap. Um, this ghostly bomb is skin conditioning and medicated. It contains kaolin... Oh, I'm probably butchering that. Um, something clay, Epsom salts, coconut milk and zinc oxide, a natural anti-inflammatory used for sensitive skin and skin conditions such as acne, large pores. Doesn't really give the scent of it. It does smell, I mean it does have like witch hazel in it. Um, so that's good if you're kind of more like sensitive skin. That would be good for that. I suppose like a lot more people can use it but for it to be, I mean, I, I guess that makes sense. It sounds almost like more skincare-y in a way. I can't find the scent of this, but I get what they mean by it. it's like medicated because it kind of smells like that. Like it's not really sweet, it's not fruity. It smells very different to what I have. Um, but there is this ghost soap and it's a very thick 
soap so you definitely will get a lot of use out of that so that was the next item i feel like that took forever moving on there is a little key so it says skeleton key bottle opener so it's basically this bronze key and i'm assuming you use this part to like flip open a bottle i'm assuming <laughs> so that's quite cool um i like the idea of that i would have preferred if it was silver if i'm honest and um, i actually did just buy a witch casket key that the owner of melts and felts was selling and it's actually this one and i think this is so so cool so i do like the key theme i mean i did buy that so <laughs> i do like that um i just kind of wish it was silver but i'm sure you could really easily like paint this but i do get that it kind of looks very like old victorian kind of vibes to it so yes that is the next one two more items left in that stripey bag so this looks like some oh i thought it was earrings but totally wrong wine glass charms is what the sticker says and i can see there's a ghost and a haunted house they're basically i'm pretty sure you could use these as earrings i don't know i don't have my ears pierced so i mean that wouldn't be any use to me anyway um but these are quite cute so they are like on gold hoops there are two of them and then there's a haunted house charm on one like a black kind of silhouette charm and then on the other one there is this little scared ghost <laughs> and this is an enamel so those are very cute um i'm assuming the purpose for these is if you have a glass and you want to make sure it's yours you can put your own charm on them and like give one to a friend and then put them on your wine glasses so you know whose is whose i'm sure i think that's the idea with these honestly i'm not a wine drink i don't really drink too much alcohol at all to be honest so these aren't probably as much use to me but they are a very cute idea i like how they're tying in the whole home theme and then the last item says travel seance kit talk with the spirits mm, okay <laughs> Um, a Ouija board and planchette, amethyst crystal, candle and incense cones. So this is quite interesting. Not sure if I'd be trying this out. Um, but there is this black organza bag. It does look quite cute to be honest. Oh wow, it's a really nice quality actually. It's like a, like a fake leather. Okay, so first of all we get the board. So it has like the whole alphabet. It's kind of like in a round design. It's got the numbers, yes, no, a Ouija talking board, goodbye, all of that. And it's like a fake leather. Just feels like a really nice quality. So this is the planchette, but it's like a little heart. <laughs> um, so it's more like a heart charm rather than a planchette, to be honest. And then there is a tea light candle. And also there's four incense cones that just look like that. And then the last thing is there is this piece of amethyst. It's actually quite a big tumble stone so this is a really nice piece of amethyst actually so that's everything in the mini travel seance kit i would say i'm quite skeptical about these kinds of things but at the same time i'm like i do not want to mess with anything <laughs> um so it's not something i tend to try but i do i do really like this i think it's really pretty and as i said the quality of it seems really nice um i like the amethyst I do actually have a planchette. I've got like a Mossa Gate one. I will just show you it because it's right next to me. So I've got like this, which is like a proper planchette. I just got this because I really love the moss design. I do have a planchette. I just don't have a board and now I do. <laughs> um, so anyway, you do get the amethyst, the tea light, and then the heart charm. And also four of these incense cones. They smell quite good, actually. I just don't have anything to burn them in. But that's everything in there. Very, very cute. So far, like, everything sticks to the theme, which I really like. So next up, I can see some kind of flat things. And again, everything's covered in roses. Oh, I think this is a sticker. Like, you can see what I mean by the roses. Like, everything is just kind of covered. It does say mystery house occult box. And I think it's just a sticker. So there is that. It also looks like a patch. So this says sew on patch, a cult box, and it's like a black patch. It says seance with a candle, a planchette, and a cobweb. 
this design is very very pretty it's just not my kind of thing and if i mean i can't even find the will to do an iron on patch so a sew on patch is probably not going to happen <laughs> so i'll probably just sell this in my depop shop so if i do end up selling anything um obviously mystery boxes can't have every single product appeal to everyone so if i do end up selling everything i sell everything no <laughs> if i do end up selling anything i will list it in my depop shop and i'll have the link in the description box for you so you can find it um but this will probably be going up just because i just can't really do patches there's one last item in the box and this is a print of a house so this is what it looks like um i think it yeah it's done by a different artist now i will say it like i don't think that's part of the print but because of everything that's kind of been put on top there are different marks i don't think are supposed to be there so if you see the top like it's all white and then if you go down here i don't know if you'll be able to see like there there's all these kind of marks on the print which i think is from everything that's been put on top of it don't know if you can see that there like all down there down there definitely seems to be focused more on this side which makes me think it's marks from stuff that's been put on top of it i mean it's not too noticeable from a distance but it's definitely there um but the print itself is gorgeous it's this really detailed kind of looks like fine liner creepy old house and it's by <laughs> emily i think that's a v keith i think that's okay the font is kind of old english um so i think it's emily v keith illustrations art and illustrations for the dark and obscure this is what i mean by the kind of victorian writing and then there's her instagram and her website so yes that's really nice to have hex bomber and another artist because she wasn't advertised so yeah it was definitely nice to have another artist in the box so that was everything i definitely feel like there was more in like the first box i tried which was the a ghoul's night in I, I think that was the name of it it was something like that still really like the item so i will just recap and then i'll go through the lucky dip bag to recap there was the art print from an artist i mean you'd probably pay about eight pounds for something like this it is an a5 print so there was that there was the seance patch the ghost soap from hex bomb again this would probably be about what six seven pounds as it is quite a big soap there was the wooden ghost necklace the pumpkin patch seeds the wine glass charms the little key bottle opener the seance kit with everything inside of it the haunted house sticker and the little ghost in a bottle and then the last thing was this mug which again you'd probably pay what about 10 pounds maybe more for a mug like this so i definitely think the value is there. I think the main items in this box is the mug the soap and probably the print so i still think the value is there i don't know i just feel like there was less in this box but then i liked the items more like I feel like there's definitely more that I will be keeping in this box than the other one. So that is always a good sign. I do wish though that kind of we had this house design on more. Like I really like this design. I think this is actually based off of a real haunted house. Because um, I think that's what they said. Maybe that's a drawing of it. I'm not really like this one. I'm not really too sure. Um, but I kind of wished we had one of those welcome foolish mortals signs in it but then i guess it's not a haunted mansion box so i think overall we got 11 items including like the sticker and each individual thing i would hold the box up but every time i do that everything just falls out but i'd say definitely my favorite item is the mug <laughs> um i really do like this design i do like the artwork it's just where i'm going to put it <laughs> i do like the ghost soap but honestly i don't really use soap too much I find it very, I mean, I guess that one's for sensitive skin, so maybe it won't be drying, but I prefer to use shower gel, um, and I definitely don't use soap for my face. So I do really like it as an item, but it probably is not as useful 
to me as like a shower gel would be overall i liked it i mean you'll have to let me know your thoughts maybe you watch other people's occult unboxings that do them more regularly than me like what did you think of this box compared to the other ones what did you think of it what was your favorite item do you think it's worth the value of 23 pounds you'll have to let me know in the comments before i go i will just open this quickly okay so it looks like there's four things so first of all there's this occult box sticker like a round vinyl sticker there is also a pencil this says bats about bats i think this was in the bats box so it's like a black pencil always love spooky stationery so love this i do feel like that's what we were missing maybe in this one um did we have stationery in the ghoul's night in one not too sure i do use those mini scissors literally every single day so i absolutely love those and then we did get this this looks like citrine i'm not sure if it's like heat treated or whether it's real it kind of looks more like the real citrine but then it is very very like orangey yellow at the top if it wants to focus so it kind of looks like that it's a very pretty piece actually always love a crystal i'd say this is maybe more heat treated amethyst actually and then the last thing i think is a piece of jewelry it's a pentagram so as i was saying my camera keeps cutting me off um this is a pentagram charm in like a crescent moon and then it's on a silver plated chain with a lobster clasp honestly this isn't something i will get too much use out of if you didn't know i do run my own jewelry company so i'm quite picky <laughs> when it comes to jewelry um but yeah so that was everything in the mystery bag so there was the sticker the pencil the necklace and the citrine piece my favorite is like the pencil and the citrine but yeah i'm not sure like what the value of this was supposed to be but it did just say like a free mystery bag if you pre-ordered the box or ordered on the website so i guess it's free <laughs> that was everything in the box and the mystery bag as i said you'll have to let me know your thoughts on this box do you think it was worth the value what was your favorite item all of that stuff so i really do hope you enjoyed this video do give it a like if you did enjoy it remember to press the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload and as i said at the very beginning please do subscribe if you like these types of videos and hopefully i will see you in my next one. Bye!